So 180 watt hours uh, was wasted. Let's just do a quick unboxing on this inverter. I need two hands. Okay, we got it. A little bit of a beast. Display here. And then we've got the uh, connections down here on this end. Looks like we've got some vents uh, around here. And uh, back on this other side. Turn it around. Similar thing. So pretty pretty basic and uh, straightforward. We also have this little bag of uh, goodies. So we have our documentation. Some energy stickers. I believe this is a temperature sensing probe. And then this is some kind of communication cable. Some mounting. Some mounting hardware. And then the remote control on or off. And then a little more. Uh, documentation. The inverter charger, including those uh, wire glands there, are is approximately 21 and three quarters long. And here on the top, we're approximately nine and three quarters wide. And then we have these little brackets uh, down here on the bottom, and they're approximately three quarters of an inch. Yeah, same on both sides. And it's approximately seven and a half inches tall. And this is how much it weighed on my scale. 64 pounds, 9.5 ounces. FYI, uh, this is not super clear in the manual. You only need to take out four screws to get the wiring panel out or off. So there's one right here, and then there's two here. It's this back one that you want to do, and then the exact same thing on the other side. And then this will just pull forward like this, and uh, you won't have this plate falling off like I did because I took all the screws out. All right, we've got uh, this uh, inverter charger uh, fired up. Uh, it's charging a battery. Now before we go any further, I just want to make mention don't wire it the way that I've got it wired here. This is a bench test uh, for this, so uh, it's not permanent. Uh, I still have yet to install this where I need to install it, but it's much easier to film and uh, test some things just here on the ground, okay? So um, what I'm actually doing is uh, dumping power from a power station uh, into this that's then uh, charging this uh, 12 volt battery here. A couple things to make note of. The fan runs a constant speed uh, no matter what level of charging, uh, at least that I've discovered so far. So let's pause for a minute and listen to that. So it's not obnoxious or anything, but uh, certainly not silent uh, either. So just to keep that in mind, make sure it has good ventilation. If we come over here, this particular battery has a smart shunt built into it. Uh, it's very low, it's only about 8% right now, and uh, charging it is about 46 amps uh, at the moment. The uh, charging speed uh, is what I really wanna show you here. That's a very easy setting to go into. You just push and hold the menu hit button here. And we just gotta go to setting 11. And by the way, the, uh, the manual has all the settings listed and uh, it makes it very easy to understand and know what you're doing. But here's seven, uh, number 11, and you can see it's 45 amp at the moment. So we're gonna select that. And let's take it down to, this is just a single 12 volt battery, so let's take it down to a 0.2C rate approximately. Hit enter. And uh, the uh, amperage immediately drops down. Let's, hang on a second, let me exit out of the menu here. So just to hit the return button uh, a time or two. Um, anyway, so we were originally charging at 45, and as you can see there, you know, 21.5 uh, or so. So it's that easy to uh, adjust, and it just uh, goes on the fly. So that's very handy. The other setting I highly recommend you do, I, I turn it off before I even started filming because it's so annoying, but to turn off the beep. So I was not making this super loud beep every time you're pushing the 
the buttons here. Obviously, four aught gauge cable is overkill uh, when charging just a single 12 volt battery, uh, but that's what I had uh, here, so that's what we're using. Better too much than too little, right? I do have it on the lithium setting. Now this uh, battery that I have has a request for a 14.6 volt max charge, uh, charging cutoff voltage. By default, if you just enable the plain lithium setting in here, uh, this will go up to 14.7. And so I did have to go and do the custom settings to program it to go down to 14.6. But again, that is extremely easy to do. Okay, I've got this uh, Renogy 3000 watt inverter charger on my test bench here. Uh, all these connections and stuff, again, are just temporary. Uh, but I want to run a couple of tests uh, through here. So I've got it hooked up to a 12 volt battery here. I've got my uh, smart shunt uh, in the middle here. Uh, I've reset that um, so you can see uh, zero kilowatt hours. And uh, what we're going to do is test the efficiency of this uh, inverter because uh, that's a, a big question of mine, at least, uh, when I get to inverters is, uh, you know, how much uh, power can I expect to be lost uh, through conversions and stuff. So we're going to pull 500 watt hours uh, through this and uh, we're going to monitor that on the smart shunt. OK, so 500 watt hours out of the battery. I've got uh, this extension cord uh, coming over here and uh, we've got this uh, kilowatt meter right here. We are going to put it over here to uh, kilowatt hours and uh, we will see how much of that has transferred over. So 500 watt hours out of the battery, how much has gone through this meter and then we'll be able to determine uh, how much was lost in the inverter charger. All right, here we go. So currently pulling about uh, 630 watts, 628 right in that uh, range here. And uh, just for fun, let's see what the uh, smart shunt says. We are currently pulling 696 watts is what this is saying. We will uh, be back here once uh, it's reached the 500 watt hour mark and uh, we'll see how much real power that's translated over to. We've hit uh, 0.5 kilowatt hours. And uh, so let's look at this. I've un just unplugged this. It stopped uh, pulling power. 0 0.40. So basically 100 watt hours uh, is missing. So probably that uh, went to waste uh, on this inverter. The other thing that can kind of help clue us in on this is if we go here to uh, the status uh, with nothing plugged in. Well, I have this extension cord with the light and that um, thing. So let's unplug that. <laughs> okay, so with nothing plugged in at all, but uh, with the inverter turned on, uh, this shunt is um, saying that it's just pulling 42 watts at idle at the moment. 3.25 amps uh, being consumed uh, by it. So it is a low frequency inverter. And so it uh, certainly uh, has a little more overhead than a high frequency inverter does. Now uh, the trick is uh, going in reverse uh, when we are charging a uh, battery, how much uh, power does it actually uh, consume, you know, to do that. So that's our next test. Okay, I've reconfigured things now. So now we're going to reverse the direction. We're going to take power out of this uh, power station here and uh, we're going to come charge uh, the battery here. And we'll see what uh, kind of uh, power consumption there is uh, here. Once the Victron Smart Shunt says that 500 watt hours has been put into the battery. And then we can see the, uh, the charging efficiency. She can plug this in. Okay, we should hear some relays click. Now that this is plugged in. There we go. And uh, we should start charging the battery. 
goes. Okay, right now I've got it to set to charge at 40 something amps, uh, just because I have a single battery. Yeah, we're charging at about uh, 45 amps. So, anyway, uh, we'll be back uh, shortly. The number we're looking for here is 0.5 kilowatts of charged uh, energy. Okay, we've hit 0 0.5 kilowatt hours on the shunt, uh, getting put back into the battery. So, let's see what uh, we actually drew. 0 0.68, 180 watt hours more drawn from the power source than what was put in the battery. So 180 watt hours uh, was wasted in uh, the charging. So anyway, hopefully that uh, information is helpful to you. Be sure you're subscribed because uh, I hope to be getting my hands on a few more 12 volt batteries at some point here in the future. And we can actually uh, max this out. Right now, uh, this inverter can pull and charge more than the single battery can handle. So we can't uh, push this to its uh, limits in terms of charging and providing power to a load. That uh, will hopefully be coming uh, in the future here. So be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. And uh, we'll catch you next time.